Morning. I wish I had the words to turn you away from this path, but... Lincoln Clay. Jesus Christ on the cross. Now I've seen everything. I heard you were dead. Been hearing that a lot. What the fuck do you want? Came here to make you a business proposition. Is that so? I'm going after Marcano, his brothers, anyone else that's associated with him. You want my help? The way I see it, once we deal with Barbieri, you get Point Vidum back. After that, we can discuss what happens to the rest of the city. No, fuck off. Of all the chalky bastards once already. Look where it got me. From where I'm standing, I'm not seeing much of a difference between then and now. You listen that, you listen to God, you fuck. <laughs> Danny was so buttoned up, the coroner wouldn't let me get a last look. Anyone's killing that fucking Marcano. It's me. Unless Marcano's hanging around one of these dive bars, I don't think he has too much to worry about. Yeah, go fuck yourself. There's more stones in the likes of you that are fucking off. A fucking ingrat. Coming to your question, me. You and your kind, you are caught down wrong at the first sign of trouble. You always have, you always will. Going for a little ride. What the Christ you think you're doing? You were bragging about your stone, so I figured we'd take a little ride. See who cracks first, the chalky or the mick. Pick the wrong man to call out. Christ, you're gonna make the piss come out of me, Japs, eh? Boy, mother, or I'm a jerk. <laughs> all right, all right. You proved your point, your mango saw. Pull over here. Now, get the fuck out of my raid. Come me place in a bit. We got more to discuss. She and her husband were having trouble conceiving as she thought it might help. It was a little awkward, but their little girl was going last week. Praise God.
back so soon, then? Tell me about Barbieri. Barbieri? Well, he's a right fucking cunt. I can tell you that much. You know what I'm asking, Burke. Give me something I can use. Barbieri's running Splow out of the Sweetwater Distillery. Splow. Panther's piss. White mule. Alley gin. Potchain. Moonshine. You ignorant fuck. Christ, what kind of booze you people drink over there in Darkyville? Kind is not called painter's piss. <laughs> Boy, you ain't lived. Set the whole thing up myself. And that gunny fuck comes in and takes it from me. Smashes me knee all to hell. Barbieri's is gonna suffer. You hear? Days slow. What else has he got besides the distillery? I run is that old Robert O. Slaughterhouse. He's doing more in there than cutting a lean ribe. Drags in there. That's the end there. I'll do the heavy lifting on this, Burke. Uh -huh. Once Barbieri's dead, I'm counting on you to step up. Oh, I'll do more than step up. I'll either be running this whole damn town or burning it to the ground. But honest, it'll make a whole lot of difference to me either way. <laughs> and yes, you know it once again. A nation once again. In the Ireland long, a province be a nation once again. Some wheels, and Burke says you're the only person we're talking to about it. Well, Burke's a fucking genius in that regard. I'll head on out to you now. Set of Hot Wheels, just like you ordered. That's a big help. Lincoln, over here. Surprised to see you, Nikki. I know what you're planning on doing. And I couldn't just sit here and watch my old man send you out half-cocked. Fuck. Man, your dad's never been much for details. Yeah, what he didn't tell you is that the man running the Sweetwater Distillery is named Carl Bevers. Hard ass Country asshole. His family runs the shine through the business, sells it to local shops. Bevers ever let on to where he keeps his stills? Ah, uh, he's got brains enough to move things around. Rumor is, he's got a map hit somewhere for his drivers. Hmm. Something like that could come in handy. Maybe I'll convince one of his men to tell me where it is. Hey, we've got another man. Goes by the name of Bear. Keeping an eye on the meatpacking plant. You should go see him. I'll do that. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Lincoln. You know what Bevis is up to. You're gonna have to get at some of his people.
Greetings and salutations, and all that shite. You bear? Nikki sent me. Oh, I'm gonna marry that girl someday. Bear Donnelly. I own Nikki's da. Everything. He has me keeping an eye on the Robert O. Meatpacking plant. Who's running things over there? Not job by the name of Sonny Blue. Let's a room out to the butcher's loan sharks. Protection guys, too. If they can't do it there, they put their hurt to people in the street. Any chance Sonny's around the robo -dough? Fuck no. Sonny only comes around to scare his people into shape. But I'm hearing one of his boys, a fella named Ralph, got caught skimming. They're working the bloody bastard over in the slaughterhouse to find out where he's got it stashed. Might be beneficial to pull his arse out of the fire. I'll see what I can get out of Sonny's goons. Watch your ass, Bear. Sonny Blue's people are scared of him. Might not talk. Why not make him more scared of you? You know, I can't even imagine what Burke's gonna do to the butcher if he ever gets his hands on him. I mean, goddamn. Heard you was friends with Danny too. Who? Goddamn fuck what Marcano did to him. Glad to see his clean up. Track that dirt in my house.
I'm on foot in downtown and need some new wheels. On a lot. Just getting her warmed up. Here's your car, boss. Appreciate it. I'm foot in downtown and need some new wheels. No can do, lad. Sorry. Vito says you can help me get this bread of mine to a safe place. Sure can, honey. And a friend of Vito's is a friend of mine. Be there like this split. Vito says you're reliable. Vito said you'd be expecting me. Took you long enough. I'm Jock Blanchard. Vito claims you can unfug this mess and get us working men back on a job. Maybe. Depends if your information's any good. Used to kick up to Vito's men Andy Toretto for union work. But now that Coyon Greco got Andy squeezing everybody for more dues. You don't pay, you don't get a work permit. Poor fucks even gotta use Greco's loudmouth buddies to collect. This Greco sounds like a real piece of shit. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. On top of that, Andy's gotta keep the permits under lock and key. Anything happens to those, oof. Ain't no work happening around here. I'll see what I can get out of Toretto's people. Toretto runs a tight ship. But you you want to work the dock, sure. You have to kick up to the Union. But this shit on the Greco... Christ, it's like he wants to keep fellows from working. Supply and river road? Yeah, directly. Gone. Where it was. I know where you are, cocksucker! Yeah, things are rough right now. Anything you want? 
want here? Show me what you got. I'll be...
Hey, hey, where are the cars? Come on. Everybody get out of here, asshole. Oh, shit! Run! Run! Get out of here! Done me my goddamn day. Fire it! Fire it now! So got a Negro hitting us. Bring the big guns. The fuck? Get him! about to ignore a noise like that. Let's go! Got me left! 
that for me, cocksucker? job as you've done slowing work at the dock union I'm surprised word is Andy Toretto's down at the dock union demanding to know who's been stopping his people from collecting dues think he tipped off Greco to what's been happening nah knowing Andy he'd probably see Greco in the ground next to you if he could but he's a lifer and if he's got a job to do he's gonna goddamn well do it Bad fucking situation all around. And it's about to get worse. Tell the boys they'll be back to work soon, Jock. You pissed Toretto off just enough that he's back at the dock union. You're gonna have to deal with him. Destroying the work permits hurt the workers, sure. But what it's really done is make Toretto and Greco look weak. This it wasn't so far to the drive. I love watching rain down. That's amazing. <laughs> Vito sent me. You're Connie, right? Yup. Connie DeMarco. Been keeping an eye on the smuggling business for Vito. Roy Thibodeau's in charge now, and it's a damn shit show. Why hasn't Greco bounced him yet? Oh, he bounced Roy right into a hole if he got to say so. Greco didn't pick Roy, and that puts a target on his back. Still, Roy's trying to sell the usual shit from out of Cuba. Cigars and rum, mostly. Hell, rumor has it they even selling medicine and shit to the Cubans. Sounds like Greco's scrambling. <laughs> Imagine Greco thought his Uncle Sal would give him a break, but no. 
So he's squeezing everyone, including Roy. Business gets any worse, Roy's gonna have to come down and see to it himself. Mind, Roy's got a few guys here and there. Might take some persuading, but I'll get him to talk. You get hold of any Roy's guys yet? There, what Greco don't seem to get is this isn't the kind of... Kind of work where being flashy is gonna get you any further.